Bonjour mes amis. Hello and welcome to the Franglaise Touch. I'm Mooney and today I'm coming to you with a cheeky product review. Today I'm going to be trying some pâtés. Here in the south of France, pâté is very common, very popular, people love it. And sadly in my region it's foie gras. We're in the Languedoc and it is traditional, but I don't need to lecture you or tell you what an exceptionally cruel practice that is. So today I'm going to be trying this tarty deli, which is a vegetable pâté, and this faux gras, which I'm very excited about, which is a copy of the duck version, but it's by Gaia. And uh, yes, I'm going to try those with a little bit of bread. And what do we have here? Ladies and gentlemen, let me take a closer look. There is a faux gras by Gaia, which has no palm oil in and is vegan. And a, another pâté by Senfas, which is gluten-free and no palm oil. So let's open those up and spread them on some cornbread and see what we think. Oh, they look pretty and they smell delicious. I love the fact that we've got these reusable lids to put over the top of them to keep them and they're recyclable. Fabulous. Right, a little serving suggestion for you to make it very traditionally, authentically French. Les cornichons. Ooh la, les cornichons. That is a little pickled cucumber to you and I and that's going on the vegetable pâté and then on the faux gras who is that? Batman? No it's Del Boy Trotter dressed up as Batman but inside of him is some rock salt so we're going to pop a little bit of rock salt on top of the faux gras and let's try. Right I'm ready if you are let's try Let's go first of all for this vegetable pâté, which is, I would say, is kind of like, I guess, your alternative to a countryside pâté, farmhouse pâté. Mmm. Mmm. That's very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Marosha. That's very good. Mmm. And now for the pizza de la resistance, it is the faux gras by Gaia. Let's try this then. Oh, hang on, I'm just going to um, <clears throat> cleanse my palate. Mm -hmm. mm. That is really good. I hate to admit it, I've tried real foie gras before and this actually can compete with it. I think over the last two years um, I've seen a lot more foie gras come about. Not everybody's going vegan here or even vegetarian but there's a lot more people getting on the, the back of the anti-foie gras which is brilliant because it's vile but uh, this I think it can rival it and it's delicious. You could dress it up with a bit of onion jam or rock salt like I have. So yes, I'm going to give this faux gras, I will be getting that again. That's a 10 out of 10 and it came in at around four euros. So for under a fiver, that's good. Be lovely for dinner parties, for the aperitif. And this one was very cheap. It was only two euros. So yes, I'll definitely buy that again. I mean, it's not as special tasting as the faux gras, but it was nice. It was good. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Bon appétit. Make good choices and have a wonderful day. Au revoir.